Welcome to our YouTube channel, Zero Touch Cyber ZTC, where we explore the fascinating world of cybersecurity. Today, we're diving into the infamous Metasploitable, a purposefully vulnerable virtual machine designed for security testing and training. In the dynamic and ever-evolving realm of cybersecurity, hands-on experience is the priceless asset. Aspiring security professionals, students, and enthusiasts seek safe yet realistic environments to hone their skills in penetration testing, exploit development, and vulnerability assessment. Metasploitable emerges as a valuable solution, offering a controlled platform to practice ethical hacking techniques without the risk of harming real-world systems. What is Metasploitable? Metasploitable is a deliberately vulnerable virtual machine, VM, that was created for educational and testing purposes in ethical hacking and cybersecurity. It is designed to be used with the Metasploit framework, which is a popular open source penetration testing tool used by security professionals to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in computer systems. The primary objective of Metasploitable 2 is to provide a safe and legal environment for security enthusiasts, students, and professionals to practice various penetration testing techniques, ethical hacking, and exploit development without causing harm to real-world systems. Installation process of Metasploitable follows. Now let's discuss how to install Metasploitable in virtual machine. To start the process, first we need to download the ISO file. To download the ISO file, first we need to go to the browser. Here I am going to my Brave browser and search Metasploitable and go to the first link click on download it will download shortly here I am choosing the path click on save hence my download is started to check the download we can click on this button or we can use shortcut ctrl plus j here my file is downloaded I am navigating the download path as this is the zip file here I am extracting the zip file I am giving the same part to extract now the extraction process is started Here my file is extracted, it is the extracted file. Now I am opening the virtual box. Here I am creating a new virtual mission which is named as Metasploitable. I am leaving the default folder path and here I am giving the type as Linux and version is Debian 64 click on next and here I am giving base memory as 3874MB and I am giving 3 CPU processors click on next here I am giving the virtual hard disk size as 20GB as default and now click on next we need to confirm the given details click finish now click on settings go to the storage and here I am creating I am adding hard disk click on add now navigate to the metasploitable folder which we downloaded previously click on the vmdi file click open here the file is attached and click choose here we gave the vmdk file now go to general and go to advanced here i am choosing bidirectional 
share clipboard and drag and drop also choosing as bidirectional and coming to network here i am changing my network connection from nat to bridget click ok once we configure the settings now click on start to start the virtual machine and metasploit will may take some time based on network network speed and computer configuration now we can see initial files and libraries are loading these are the predefined files and finally metasploit will be started we can see the metasploit will home page and we can see in the third line it states that log in with msf admin to get this started that means metasploitable username and password are msf admin so now i am typing msf admin and the same password as msf admin click enter now i logged into the metasploitable to, to check the ip address we will use the command ifconfig now type ifconfig hit enter now we can see that ip address is 192.168.1.161 now i am going to the brave browser and i am searching the ip address now type the ip address 192.168.1.161 161 hit enter here we can see the metasploitable interface in the browser and these are the paths here we can see the username and password as msf admin and we can use this metasploitable to to improve our penetration testing skills and to learn hacking ethically in our upcoming videos we will discuss how to use metasploitable Thank you.